Right, good afternoon everybody. Just want to do a quick video as we finish up the Trek the Halls event. Uh, your old buddy Tiberius here. Happy holidays everyone. Hope you enjoyed all your Christmas festivities or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or any other Festivus holidays you might celebrate. Um, yeah, you know, Trek the Halls finishing up here. Uh, and it looks like the holiday event is wrapping up. They took down the schedule on the leaderboard here on the news channel there was a schedule that had events for like you know ringing ringing in the new year and stuff like that um, but it looks like oh hang on let me make sure I join this armada okay I'm joined good uh, but yeah so it looks like you know that's the final event here in Trek the Halls is the Armada, which will pay out another 6,000. Yeah, none of the lower level ones give out any bonus. So if you were a free-to-play player and you did uh, no purchasing from the event store, you will have 54,000 credits, uh, tokens, whatever, holiday gifts to exchange. It's not bad. Uh, there's a f limited number of things that you can get with that. Uh, you know, obviously, if you spend money, you can get higher numbers of these because 54,000, you know, that's 5, 10, 14. Nope, you're just shy of 14. 13. Uh, you could get 13 Honor Guard Warp shards, which, you know, Honor Guard Warp is a great character. Do 13 shards do anything for you? That's the kind of questions you have to ask yourself when you're figuring out what reward to get. You know, uh, there isn't another way to source him right now. Maybe he'll be in the event store if there is one at the end of this duality arc, and maybe you'll be able to get a few more shards that way. But if you're like me and you're a hundred away from from leveling him up, uh, you know, if I cash all these in and I get 13 more, all right, well now I'm still 87 away. Then I've got to chip away at that maybe in the next month, and I'm giving up other, you know possible rewards to just focus on him I don't know that that's going to be worth it in the long run uh, you look at some of these other officers that they have here DuPont a level 3 mining officer probably not helping you out too much there his extra protected cargo well, we've had a few other ways uh, to boost protected cargo recently so again not sure he's helping you out uh, you know if I was at 50 of 51 maybe I'd spend 3,000 to get the last shard but he's also available now in other places uh, officers recruit packs I believe he's in the ultra recruit did they add DuPont in here yes they did so again he's another guy that you have another way to source uh, or if you don't but again he's, he's expensive and depending on where you are if you're close to getting him and unlocking him he's a great great character great thing to spend your points on uh, but if you're you know, like me, and you just managed to get enough out of the free, uh, you know, leaderboards and things or uh, event milestones to unlock him, then getting a few extra shards is not going to help you. Marcus, you can cash in uh, transporter patterns for him. Would would not at all spend points on him. Yuki is in the uh, standard ultra recruit packs. Wouldn't spend on her. Burnham is in the Discovery Packs. I don't think I have enough Discovery Tokens. I can still look. Yeah, Burnham's in the Discovery Pack. So, uh, is she also in the Ultra? Did they put the Discovery people in here, or just Lorca? They just put... Oh, Burnham is in there, too. So, yeah, so there's two ways to source Burnham Shards. Would not... Really would not recommend spending your points on her, either. So we're eliminating things, which is good, on what to spend these points on. All right, so we've eliminated the f these four officers, not worth spending points on. Honor Guard Wharf, yeah. Potentially. Uh, Federation Klingon Romulan credits, I mean, there are other ways to get them. If you're close to something, uh, and you just need a few more credits, we need a few more blueprints, or you're about to get cloaking, but you know, 
you're like you know two or three thousand credits short yeah maybe picking up a couple of these uh, 5,000 points for 750 credits you can limit five so you can cash in 25,000 points and get 3750 in credits uh, that's a possibility for me that I might spend on only because I'm trying to get a level 42 ship I'm trying to unlock the Kelvin and I need about 40,000 more credits so that would speed me up you know three or four days uh, in terms of where you can accumulate credits that's like three days uh, of max credits uh, from doing daily missions and rep missions and uh, cashing in uh, the uh, scout messages so still not thrilled there Klingon and Romulan credits kind of the same boat independent credits uh, you could get 1250 of these it's about the mo you know that's what kind of what you get out of the Borg refinery I think it's about 250 so again speeds you up a little bit might get you closer if you're trying to promote uh, particular officers you know obviously they're a little harder to come by your Borg officers your con uh, your mud crews those people all use independent credits uh, to get promoted uh, officer badges you have other ways to get these but you do get a full set one of each for 10,000 uh, but you can also get those in the faction stores and uh, at the end of each story arc uh, or battle pass they usually give out uh, some some officer badges there g4 consumables uh, yeah not seeing the value here I mean it's three of each guaranteed for 5,000 you get a build speed a research speed a damage and a mining you can get these every day uh, just by cashing in your your axion chips uh, a way team for 5,000 to get all of these it's not great but they do like to sneak in every once in a while a couple of like away team missions and since the only other way to get the speed ups really is to buy them now they don't give them to you you get one hour speed ups for doing your daily you get 11 you know depending on what your level is I get 11 a day I think um, but that's it there's no none of the smaller speed ups none of the bigger ones it's just one hour speed ups is all you get um, and they do like to throw in some of these you know leaderboard events that require you to complete multiple you know dozens of away missions to score points to move up the leaderboard to get things so this is a possibility it's, it doesn't excite me uh, you know it's not like oh ooh, yeah grab those um, you know same thing with iso emulsion you get these every day for you know refining 34,000 for 5,000 it's not great maybe I'll speed up and you know you're limited by what you can refine every day I think 34,000 is about what I get in a day 16 24 yeah, I get about you know it's between 28 and 34,000 depending on uh, what my ISO level is at uh, and how much I can refine so again this is like one day closer to being able to do some research <laughs> not exciting uh, ISO resin 62 <laughs> not at all exciting um, you know you cash in 5,000 of the other stuff and uh, you know depending on what level your uh, meridian is what tier it is uh, that will impact how much of this stuff you get um, I get a lot more than 62 so that's a big no mycelium lots of jumps from the discovery isn't bad and since you basically I mean you get 5,000 a week so depending on how often you're using your discovery well yeah, maybe there's a little bit of value here but probably not did I get in that armada or did I get bumped out I got bumped out boo and now everybody went to deep space Just go jump over here and kill that one then. Give some people some helps. Because we'd like being helpful to people. Alright, so we're still still looking for something to spend our, our credits on. Uh, 
resin was nothing, mycelium was nothing, tetrions. Uh, again, you get 65 every day, and there's a limit on how many you can hold. It's like 250, or it's like 200 or something, 210. Um, so if you, you know, like wanted to do a lot of cloaking for like PvP or something, maybe. But again, not really seeing the value there. So then we're left with some ship blueprints. Well, I have a sarcophagus, and I'm not going to build a second one. Um, takes, you know, it's pretty expensive in the amount of resources it takes to upgrade. Um, you know, and uh, my alliance is pretty active in PvP, so I don't need a second one uh, to hold nodes because we have a lot of bigger players. If, you know, I'm 42. There's guys that are, uh, and I'm probably like you know 15 or, or 20th in terms of uh, you know growth spots uh, in my alliance right now. So there's guys who have higher, you know, guys in the 40s, guys in the 50s who have bigger sarcophagus uh, that are gonna sarcophagi, sarcophagi, yeah that'll be sitting on capture nodes, so I don't need to worry so much about, uh, you know, building a second one for that. Discovery blueprints, I can't imagine why you would need a second discovery, um, unless you really want to jump all over the place. Uh, a second meridian, yeah, there's value here, especially when they're going to do isogen mining events, being able to send out a second one of these. Um, definitely increases things um, you know now with the, the research to boost the uh, cargo capacity on it having a low level second one is probably still better than mining with something like a uh, you know a faction miner or uh, a horizon or something you probably still have a better rate of return probably still about the same in terms of the cargo hold though so you should be able to switch stuff out um, that's not a bad investment with, uh, you know, with the, the uh, fairly common frequency in which they like to run isogen events. So uh, this would probably be a consideration. You're capped at 50 uh, blueprints, so that's half a meridian you can get, and it'll cost you 25,000, so it's a little over half your points. So then you'd have 29,000 left, which would mean could do a few other random things, you know, grab a, an officer shard, grab some independent credits or some faction credits if you need them, grab some uh, away team, maybe just pick up like one of these, and it's kind of going to be like a, yeah, you know, uh, you know, get this, and then like one of these, and one of, you know, 10,000 for the badges, and, or, you know, 5,000 some thousand points here and then you'll have so if you did that if you did five of these and the five of these that puts you to 50 that'll leave you 4,000 left and is there anything you can get for 4,000 all of these chests are 5,000 aren't they it's going to be an officer you could get one shard for wharf with that last 4,000 so you spend 50,000, 25,000 on the isogen, on the uh, meridian blueprints, 25,000 on, you know, some combination of like independent credits, away team speed ups, uh, maybe faction credits, like I said, if you're close to something. And then with that last 4,000, it's like I will take uh, one wharf shard or something <laughs> like that. So um, thank you, Scopely. Uh, you know, I, I like event stores. I like where you get to pick your prize and get the things that you need the most uh, and try to get things that you can't otherwise source easily. Um, but it would have been nicer to see a few more things in this or to at least get a little bit more points uh, to be able to choose just a little bit. You know, 54, eh, 60 would have been great, maybe 65, a rounder number. So you could get some combination of 5,000 point things would have been a little bit better but that's my take on it hope you guys have a great holiday enjoy the new year and uh we'll see you back here in 2022 thanks for watching